Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dylan. Welcome to episode 52 of Which Automation Car Mod Can Jump the Farthest on Car Jump Arena. We got some wild stuff today, baby. Uh, automation mods are officially weird again. That's all I'm going to say. Not going to spoil it for you. Just sit back and relax, grab a snack, and let's get into this, shall we? All righty, so check this out. The Aero Sapphire. <laughs> Oh, baby, this thing looks absolutely insane. This is a bona fide race car if I ever did see one. We've seen uh, quite a few cars from the Aero brand in the past, and uh, this one is absolutely insane. The attention to detail on this is nutty. I want to flip all these switches, man. Please uh, let me do it. So, yeah, this is a straight up race car, so I'm expecting big numbers on the car jump arena. I mean, look at all the bodywork, the, the the sharp angles, the wings, the sound. Absolutely insane. 220 miles an hour like it's nothing. And we're getting sent into a backflip. The bodywork, I think, did its job there. We're gonna land around the 330 mark straight on our lid. But we're gonna land on all four tires somehow. Can we? Uh, drive ourselves into the pool i think we can there we go so not quite as far as i would have thought this thing would go but i think uh it's mainly the body works doing that it kind of brought us back down to earth uh so to say this thing is not made for the car jump arena this is made to go very 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 fast around the track and i have no doubt uh that it does that for sure seriously this thing sounds so mean <laughs> absolutely disgusting noise i love it let's kind of send this thing into a barrel roll if we can oh yes perfect hey that's gonna make us go a little farther as well so it is the body work we're gonna land around the 400 uh, about 100 more beautiful and not as uh, graceful as a landing on that one unfortunately <laughs> this is a tough car man it holds it holds its shape uh, pretty darn well, but yeah, that's the Aero Sapphire. Beautiful. The A69 grocery machine. I told you guys it was going to get weird. Uh, so <laughs> this is literally a shopping cart go-kart. What more do you want from it? <laughs> Beautiful. It has a working steering wheel as well. You usually don't see that. You can, all, you can also see like all the mechanisms in there. That's really freaking cool. So I have a question for you guys. Is this um, a stock engine noise in Beam and D Drive? Because to me, hold on, listen to this. To me, that sounds like the engine simulator noise. And I know Beam and G is a big supporter of engine simulator, but did they implement it into the game and, and not tell anybody? It sounds exactly like one of the engines in that game, which if you don't know, I'll link it down below is like a super realistic engine simulator and it's it doesn't have any stock engine noises depending on how you build the engine the physics will make the sound in real time uh which is absolutely insane but yeah it sounds exactly like that to me but anyway here we go in a shopping cart down the car jump arena can we get this shopping cart to 100 miles an hour yes we can and then some 111 12 13 113 miles an hour. How far is that going to get us? Almost over the top of the hill. <laughs> hey, but we're in one piece. Get back straight. Come on. We got to make it to the pool in the shopping cart. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're okay. She still runs. How's the, how's it going to handle the sand though? Not bad. We are slowing down a little bit, but we're still going. Keep it up, buddy. Yes! Yes! There we go! And the <laughs> shopping cart uh, sinks like a freaking bag of potatoes, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, categorize this under things that I want. I want a shopping cart go-kart, man. I mean, who wouldn't, though, honestly? Where are the pedals, though? I don't see any pedals. Yeah, this thing has no pedals. Weird. <laughs> Is that like an oversight? Or are these the pedals? I think these are actually the pedals right there. Okay, They're, they were kind of blending in. I, I, I see them now. All right, I guess this kind of fits the uh, the shopping theme. This is the Alton NFK. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah, the Alton NFK 8210. 
Red edition. Yes, sir. Red means speed, right? This is like secretly a drag car. Oh, it's pretty quick. Is this an electric? Oh, no, it's not. We got we got some exhaust there. It's a very quiet for a semi. I must say, I guess this is a lorry, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> anywho, we're getting up there, man. 132, 34, 135 miles an hour. That should get us past the 250 mark. Yes, right on our nose. Oh, again. Oh, no. We are coming in hot, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> A, a, a car jump arena launch doesn't get quite more perfect than that. We could have landed all the way in the pool. We kind of skimmed through the pool on that one. But hey, not bad, especially for a car this size, a vehicle this size. And look at the interior, man. Look how detailed this is. What? It's got working sat nav or is, there's I don't I don't think that's the car jump arena. Wait, is it? No, I don't. I don't think that's moving. I think that's just a purely for aesthetics but yeah it's kind of cozy in here man look at this i could be playing uh, american truck sim european truck sim right now and send it oh uh oh oh we're okay <laughs> land it yes slow down slow down we are going way too fast beautiful this is a clean little uh clean little front flip there nice it's in pretty good shape too oh no um <laughs> okay so this thing is literally just called the meme i like the uh, the engine placement here very very nice this is some sort of bmw i guess we got the balloon tires and i don't know what that says lamborghini on the bottom something like that <laughs> oh no okay so Oh, that's the, that's where you sit right there. That bar is going to be a little bit uncomfortable. But there's the steering wheel right there. Giant couch. Uh, yeah, so nothing about this makes any sense whatsoever. But I love this kind of stuff. We haven't seen stuff like this. That is so loud. We haven't seen stuff like this in a while. Just absolute monstrosity. So let's see what it can do. I think we need another uh, tow hitch, by the way. I don't, I don't think we have enough there. Anyway, 150 miles an hour. Let's go. How far is that going to take us? That couch is going to pull us straight down. So yeah, right around the 200 mark of bits and pieces flying absolutely everywhere, which is tradition with these types of vehicles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. What does that say on the bottom? What is that? What is that? Can any of you guys make out these hieroglyphics? I have no idea. So yeah, this is an interesting one, huh? <laughs> How did he make the tires look like that? They're straight up balloons. Am I wrong? And what what is it? What is this? This cannot be good for aerodynamics, man. Although I don't think that's what he had in mind when he was making this. This is a child's drawing that he brought to life in BBG Drive. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'm promoting that. Actually, I endorse that because I love it. The engine is an absolute mess. It's perfect. All right, next up, we got a straight up tank, the CV33MK7. Let's check it out. Oh, this is a tiny little guy. Oh, look at this thing. What am I gonna, what am I gonna destroy with this, huh? Oh no, it is, it is not very fast. Oh no. Oh, poor guy. We got sparks dragging something right now. There we go, get up to speed. It sounds pretty good actually, what? Sounds like an F1 car. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, it just took a little bit to get up to speed. 155 miles an hour. Let's go, little guy. 330. Oh my goodness, and we are flat as a pancake. Uh oh, slow down, buddy. Nice. We stuck the landing, huh? <laughs> Why, I mean, when, it, when it's a tank, you expect it to be a little bit bigger. I, I don't know if this is based off a real tank where they actually little little one man tanks driving around like this. Like what kind of gun is that? I have no idea. I love it though, but it's cute. I'll say it's cute, huh? All right, next up, we got a straight up NASCAR. Late model NASCAR, the Eagle. Let's see what it can do. No messing around with this thing. I don't know, have we had any NASCARs go off the car drip arena yet? Maybe. 
I don't know, but let's see what the number 25 could do. It's kind of looking like a PS2 NASCAR. I'm not going to lie from the back. Anyway, here we go. 200. Yes, we're going to land it. F1 car could never. But here we go. Send it. Uh-oh. That little bump at the end of the pool gets you every time, man. <laughs> this thing actually held together pretty well. All things considered, you would expect it to just absolutely get eviscerated. No. It's a little bent down to shape, but besides that, we're okay. We're riding high, baby. Speaking of F1, we got a 2017 F1 car here. So this one looks pretty darn good. Now, if I know the other F1 mods in BMG Drive, they tend to fly a long distance. Is this one going to be the same? Let's see, 197. Oh no, we're going to go straight down. We got a good bounce though, past the 300. Does that count? If we bounce off the top of the hill, but still land past the 300 mark. Hold on. Let's do that again. We got a first person mode as well. Let's give that a shot. This is insanely fast. I bet this is a ton of fun around the track. Here we go. 190. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. It just sends us straight into the ground, man. Oh no. I'm sure he's going to walk away from this one, right? Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Land in the pool. Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, there's even a guy. I didn't even notice that. There's a driver in there. Look at him. I think it's just a head, though. If you look at it from right here, it works. You move up a little bit. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just a head. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, this is a lawnmower. Oh, my God. The engine. The whole thing is the engine. You're sitting on top of the engine. <laughs> Why is there a need for speed heat? I don't know. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. Camera angle is not optimal for this. Oh, holy crap. Okay. This is going to take a second guys. This is going to take a second to get the, get a hold of. Oh, uh, okay. This is, this is insane. We're going to have to ease into this one. Ease into it. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's it's so it's impossible. This is impossible to control. E even when I'm like feathering the throttle here, it still just immediately loses all traction. Come on, hold it, hold it. No. Do you see my speedometer say like 10,000 miles per hour for a second? <laughs> All right. One more time. One more time. Hold on. What happens if I just gun it straight from the, from the beginning? Oh my God. <laughs> Steeze into it, buddy. Ease into it. There we go. This is looking good. I'm going to give it some gas at the end here. And it just broke. <laughs> I think we need a little bit more uh, firepower on the wheels there. They just exploded into a million little bits of rubber. Fun idea, though. What a what a monster. What game are we playing right now? Is this is this Wipeout? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my God. Look at this thing. This is sick. Zero gravity racing, baby. This is. Oh, my God. This is really well done, actually. Oh, it's so fast as well. Can I shoot the guns? 200, 300 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. Into the sand. Easy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So this is like a futuristic uh, combat vehicle, combat racing vehicle. Kind of like in, a, like I said, Wipeout. And uh, what's, it, what's it in another game? Like F-Zero, maybe? Let's check out the cockpit here. Oh, my God. What? This might be the most detailed. Oh, there's an eject button as well. Can I push that? Is that a cell phone in there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Does this stuff work? I don't think it does. I don't think we're going 427 kilometers an hour yet, but I, I do know this thing can't go that fast. But uh, this is just absolutely absurd. It's really quiet in here. It's all things considered. Whoa. Land it. 
We got crumpled a little bit that time, unfortunately. But yeah, this is this is my favorite of the day, guys. There's like custom modeling on this by the looks of it. I mean, look where the engine is. That is absolutely insane. That is my favorite, and it's the winner thus far. Can anything beat the futuristic floating combat plane car thing? Let's find out. Can you guess what this thing's called, guys? <laughs> It's not what you think it is. It's a tapeworm. Obviously. Oh my god. Oh, that's a good place for the uh the dash, right? What? Do I have to blur this thing? I feel like I need to blur this thing. I'm not going to it has a face. It's obviously a worm. A flesh-colored worm. That we're topping out at 147 miles an hour. It's surprisingly not very very aerodynamic. Around the 250 mark. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more pieces flying off of this thing to be uh completely honest are we gonna land in the pool yes come on get in there yes sir put this thing out of its misery good god <laughs> and on that a horrible disappointment uh we're gonna end this episode here guys if you enjoyed it, this episode and you want to see more make sure to that like button down below and uh click that join button if you want to join the fam uh, you get access to a custom Neological Beam and P server uh, that I try to stream on every once in a while. It's a lot of fun. Get to play with you guys. But yeah, thank you to everybody who has clicked that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.